What's up y'all, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're continuing our video editor series and we're gonna be working uh, with our API we created in the fourth episode. Definitely check that out if you haven't already. We're gonna be adding a little bit more functionality to this API and then deploying it to an actual server using a Google Cloud Engine or GCP, Google, uh, Cloud, Google Cloud Platform. All right, so what are we gonna do first? Actually, let's, no, I'm gonna keep that. Let's get rid of this for now. So I wanna create a function that communicates with the fire firebase storage so let's um let's go back to firebase here and go to project settings it should be under no hold on. oh here we go so we go to project settings we scroll all the way down and what we need is we're gonna need this this firebase config here all right and what else do we need so we need to create a new file we're going to Call this file Firebase Storage. Oh, storage.py. And we're gonna need a few things. We're gonna import request and we're gonna import, oh, it's request with an S. We're gonna import pi rebase. And we actually need to go to source. We activate our virtual environment bin. If uh, what I did was I typed the first few letters and I hit tab. And then end, uh, if you just hit tab, then it'll auto complete for you, which is pretty dope. Very useful to be honest. <laughs> Very useful resource. All right, so what do we need to do? We need to pip install pi rebase. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit copy and paste because I still have this in my clipboard, this um this Firebase config that we have here. And we actually need to change this to hit shift quotes, shift quotation marks, shift oh quotation marks, shift quotation marks, shift quotation marks. <laughs> All right. So what else do we need? So to use PyRebase, we need to do uh, Firebase equal PyRebase dot initialize app. And then we're gonna pass your Firebase config in here. And I'm gonna change this snake case called just to keep it uniform. If you're an iOS developer, you know we use a uh, camel case. No, yeah, we use camel casing, but uh, for Python it's mostly a snake case. All right, and then I'm gonna create a Firebase storage. That equals Firebase dot storage. This is just a reference to Firebase storage here. This creates a reference to our Firebase storage. And we need two functions. We need one that's gonna download a video. Uh, we need a download URL. And we need to pass in what video title, what's like the title of the video, because you could get it from the URL, but that URL might be, it might have a weird, like a, it might be, it's, it'll be pretty difficult to get it from the URL. So let's just pass in the video title we want with it. So now that we have the the download URL, we can just start to download by using request get download URL. This will download the video. And then with open video title, we're gonna do a write binary as F. And then we need to do F write a request, no response dot content. This download downloads the video and then saves it in our directory. All right. So now what else do we need to do? So we download our video. The next function is to upload the video because this is just our Firebase uh, file. So we don't need to edit it in here. In this function, we're gonna get it, uh, we're gonna get the edited video passed into it and then we're gonna be responsible. And then this function will be responsible to uploading that edited video to Firebase storage. So let's call it upload edited video and we're gonna Pass in the video, a video title, and let's pass in, let's pass in a username. All right. So the upload path, this is the upload path we're gonna want to use in um in Firebase. So let's do some string interpolation. Let's use username, edited videos. Oh, I forgot to close my curly braces. All right. So username, edited videos, and we're gonna want to call this video title. And now we're gonna go to Firebase storage reference child with our upload path. And we're gonna just put the video title because this video title here will be the name of our edited video and that'll be in our directory. And that's all we need to do in this file, to be honest. So I'm gonna hit command S and I'm gonna go back to the main file. And there's a few things we wanna do here. So we need to, we need to, well, we need to import our storage. <laughs> So I'm gonna call this import, import Firebase storage as storage. All right, and what we need to do is storage.downloadvideo. 
or yeah, source.download video. And now we need the download URL. And if you remember from our last time we worked on this, this uh, video item class, we can tell our network what it is required to be passed in this uh, post request. So we can require a download URL. So video download URL and we'll, it'll be a string. So now we can access it here in this video that's of type video item. So it's guaranteed to have a video download URL. So the video, oh no, wait, we'll do download URL equals video dot video download URL. And then the next one is a video title. And that will just, um, and for that, we're going to create an input file name variable. That's going to be similar to this output file name. I'm going to copy it here and I'm going to put it like this. And this will save our video that we downloaded as an MP4. I'm doing it this way because I don't want to have to worry about whether it's a MOV or MP4 or MPEG or whatever it could be. I'm just declaring it an MP4 and that'll be the name of the video. That'll be the name we see here of the video. So we download the video and now we can change this. Um, we can actually change this uh, file name from no longer being file name, but from being file input, input file name because that's gonna be the name of the video that we download that's gonna be in our directory. And then we need to call storage, this time upload edited video, because after this function it goes through, it's gonna edit our video successfully. So let's see, and we're gonna, so this video title that we have to pass in is, the, is gonna be the path of the video, and that's just gonna be our output file name, because that should be in here. If you go to edited video, the output name, which is passed in as a variable, which is passed in as a function. So if we go to here, we're passing output file name. That's gonna be the location of the edited video and we wanna pass in a username. And we don't have anywhere, a username anywhere, so I'm gonna require that here in the, in the post request that we're supposed to be receiving. So we can just tap into that using video dot username. And we're, we're pretty much set. One more thing I wanna do, and this is for efficiency because if you're dealing with a lot of videos, you're just gonna, your server is just gonna have a bunch of downloaded videos on it and the storage is gonna run out super quick. So we actually need to import OS, import OS, all right. And we're gonna do OS remove path and we're gonna do input file name. And I'm gonna just copy this and do it again for our output file name. All right, all right, and you wanna do accept print unable to remove files all right now this is set and this should be working so let's let's try to run this uh, i believe the command is uv corn we should have wait let me do pip list in our last video we should have downloaded uv corn yeah we have uv corn downloaded so uv corn main colon app and you're gonna do dash dash reload all right so now this is running Whoa, whoa, whoa. Import video editor. Looks like we have an error. Hmm. What's our error? Let's look this up. That's weird. Python class cookie jar. Let's let's try this. Alright, so we do a command or control C. Let's try to pip install uplink. Ah I know the issue actually. <laughs> Let me go to pip list again. Ah, we we have to uninstall Pyre Base. We actually need Pyre Base 4. Sorry. Sorry about that. So we're gonna uninstall Pyre Base and then install Pyre Base and then four. I had, I had I ran into this issue a while back and it's cause like um, the ins the pip install Pyre Base installs like the third version and then the fourth version is more up to date. So that was that should work. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, see import Firebase of storage. Wait, let me let's see something. Actually, I want to. Let's set up a Firestore day. Oh, you know what? Firestore is set up. Hmm. Huh. All right. Let's see. Let's look up this issue. Ah, it looks like we're missing a database URL in our config. All right. So I, I added it and then I hit command S. And that's how you do dot reload. I mean, dash dash reload. It automatically updates your, uh, your server when you make changes. And there we go. It worked now. So now that means that our... So now we're good. So now our edit video direct or this should be this should say method not allowed right yeah <laughs> so now let's go to postman actually because i want to test this i want to fully test this so 
I mean, Postman, I have the... Wait, actually, I don't have it. <laughs> I have the URL here. All right. If I hit send here, it's a get request, so method not allowed, all right? If I hit post, this should almost work. And actually, something cool about Fast API too is if you hit, if you go to the director and you hit a slash docs, it tells you what's available. And you can actually just do all this stuff here, which is kind of cool. If, if you don't want to use Postman, you can just use the, the actual uh, local host. So let's try it out. So video title, wait, let's see if we have any. Let's go to our storage. Do we have any actual videos? We have our intro. Let's upload. Let's go to our React app. All right, so I'm going to our Heroku app that we used last time, and I'm going to upload this fetch image move, this fetch image uh, video. <laughs> Let's review and finder. There we go. We upload it. Inspect. All right, it's uploading. And once it's, it should be here. Let's see. Yep. And actually, uh, I think if I click on this link, let's see, copy link. Yeah, this should be the download URL of the video. So I just went to this link and hit uh, copy link as address. And we go back to our fast API reference here. The download URL, we'll do this and fetch, and fetch what? Fetch image, let's call it MOV since that's what it was. And the username, just use my name. Let's hit execute and now it's loading. Let's go to our server. All right. Oh, I don't know if you saw that, but it just, it flashed, it moved. <laughs> It added this and oh look I think it's uh there we go yeah our function is running right now it's running on our it's running on our server but that server is being hosted locally so it's not uh fully online yet but we're actually gonna be doing that in the next video all right so now it's editing oh there we go and you see the request is still going oh I think that <laughs> it chunked it. oh now we have a fetch image edited mp4 oh wow that looks ugly but it's editing our video and I'll be back when this is done <laughs> all right so our video just finished editing um, you see, there's nothing in the directory. This was already here. And yeah, let's go to Firebase though. So the fetch movie is here. And if we go to our main, oh, Jason DeBone, editing videos. Oh, shoot. And let's click on the O. And it's edited, right? I mean, the <laughs> Let's go to the previous video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. All right, let's go. Back to the original one, which was this one. Huh, that's weird. It makes you edit this. I mean, it makes you download this one, but not for this. And I opened it here, and you see this is 13 minutes long, so you can talk about And there isn't no intro, so the video is edited. Voila, it's edited. And now every post request we make to this URL that has a, every post request that has like a title, has a download URL and a username, it's gonna be, it's going to automatically start the download, edit the video, and upload it to Firebase. Or to Fire, yeah, Firebase Storage. So that's pretty dope. In the next video, we're going to be taking our API that we just finished building out and putting and hosting it on a server. That way we can start getting it set up so where when you upload a video, you can automatically have it get the video from the, fire, from the storage, download it, edit it, and upload the edited video. So we'll be working on getting the server set up in the next video. Go check that out. Peace. I'm riding between it all in this perfect play I'm a piece of the puzzle, I'm a fit where you need me